So hi everyone, this is Jassy Gay from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with another video with Agrophobic Aki once again. Big shout out to our, our man. We're going to be showing you how to farm kills easily to get the Good Riddance Achievement or Trophy. So in Act 3, the Road to Hell, there is an infinite spawn spot and I was able to get roughly about a thousand kills uh, in 40 minutes or so. And this also is important to take into account the different cards that you are using as part of your character build. So the smorgasbord um, achievement, which is going to require you to kill all of the uh, different variations of uh, non-boss mutations. You can get that probably through the natural progression of the story, uh, but this is a key card that is going to get awarded to you for this one called Confident Killer. So make sure that you've got this one in your bag first of all. It's also probably recommended that you go about farming some supply points by running through previous acts and everything that you've done first of all to get you enough points to buy the cards that you're going to need. Now it's also worth noting currently achievements can only be attained online mode so make sure you've got a good co-op partner for this. Now you'll need to create a new deck and I'm going to walk you through the cards that I've been using for this build in the order that they appear in the deck. So just a tip for you guys the first card that you have in the deck is the first card that gets applied to you. So I'm utilizing the Confident Killer card, which is going to give me 1% extra damage every time a special ridden has been killed by you or my team, and that cascades across to the team as well. So this card is going to help you make lightweight of the uh, special types of ridden, like Tall Boys and Reekers and all of this kind of stuff. My next card that I've got is the Ammo Stash, which is infinite ammo for your sidearm at the cost of having 20% reload speed. Um, this is a critical card because it's going to help you just keep pumping out bullets on a regular basis. That mixed with the damage, it's also going to increase the better ability of your sidearm. So the next one that I've got is Reload Drills because that's going to negate the slowed reload effect that we have from the Ammo Stash. And the next one to that is the Wide Mouth Magwell, which gives me an additional 30% reload speed with a little bit of less damage, uh, damage resistance. We then have the Ridden Slayer to increase our weak spot damages against the big guys. And then we have Reckless Strategy, which gives us another 30% weak spot damage so we can increase our output to the enemy. Okay, and then next on the list, we have the uh, Combat Training in Large Caliber Rounds. Both of these do additional bullet damage as well as giving you additional bullet penetration which means your bullets pass through the enemies and kill enemies behind them. The next card on the list that we're using is Inspiring Sacrifice. This will give us a bit of healing should one of our teammates get incapacitated. Next up we have the, uh, the Hydration Pack card applied to us. This gives us 25 health and minus 15% ammo capacity, but ammo capacity does not matter when you have infinite ammo. You just keep shooting the bullets out. Next, we have the Patient Hunter. So for the longer you're aiming down the sights, you increase your damage by 30%. So hold it down for a little while and you'll get a bit more damage output from your gun. Next up we have grenade training which is going to give us more uh, accessory and grenade damage and next up we have demolitions expert which is going to give us more grenade damage at the cost of 15% ammo capacity but that doesn't matter because we don't have uh, an ammo cap. And then next up, it took me a little while to find this one for some reason, uh, we have the card mag carrier. That is going to give us uh, increased capacity. It's not really what we're interested in, just taking the damage for the sidearm. And then we have the uh, antibiotic uh, ointment, which is going to increase the effectiveness of healing material. Um, pretty much any card, though, from the top kind of seven or eight downwards will help you. Now, for those of you who don't know how to get cards, you'll need to get supply points from completing acts and missions. And when you come see the uh, supply point traders post, uh, you'll be able to buy these cards from the lady just here. You have to put in a fair amount of SP to get to them. So you'll require them to, uh, you know, for farming. I think I did about one run of the game uh, and a half probably before I was able to get the cards that I needed. So let's get into the campaign piece. So we want to select act three. And we are going to start from the starting point called Road to Hell. 
which is the level with the infinite spawn. So we'll create that run and load in. Okay, and my preference of choice for this is Kali. So Kali starts with the T9 gun. You'll unlock Kali as part of the main story progression, but the T9 is a sidearm with a good fire rate. Next up, you want to pick the deck you've created called Kill Farming. And what you'll notice as you load in and you've picked the Kill Farming deck, the majority of the first set of cards will be automatically applied. So you'll need to pick some of the others. Okay, so the cards that you would have had in the beginning of your pack will automatically get applied. You'll have the majority of the ones that you need in the beginning automatically. So what you pick next is kind of up to you, but I primarily focus on things like damage and stability. So I take the first card in the list, the Patient Hunter, the Hydration Pack, Large Caliber Rounds, and I take the Mag Carrier for this one. Once you've done that, you want to boot on in. Now, hopefully, when you spawn in, you can find a better T9 gun than the one that you start off with. Uh, but unfortunately, that was not the case for me. But anyway, head into the shop and make sure that you um, buy the upgrades for the T9 pistol. So I recommend having anything that increases your capacity of your clip or anything that increases the damage output of the sidearm itself. Sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll find one uh, spawning in there. I also recommend that you pick up some Molotovs, some health kits. Um, Aki's also in the process of buying some of the support slots to get more uh, items for healing and that kind of stuff. Uh, things like pipe bombs I'd recommend having just to ease off the pressure if you find yourself in a sticky situation. Um, but yeah. Now eventually you're going to progress through this level and you will reach a corridor where you're going to be required to press a button. So let's regroup at that point. So this is that corridor and you want to make your way down to the end and you're going to hit the button on the end just here to start the, uh, the flow of enemies. So once you've hit the button, all of the enemies are going to start flooding in. I recommend just backing up and making yourself a little bit of space before you attempt to move through the door. But we want to be on the other side of that door in the beginning just to uh, make it do this way. Now it's worth noting I've got Aki with me. He's giving me a hand um, because you can't get this achievement currently in single player. And we've got the bots with us as well. Um, so they keep throwing down ammo for Aki. Um, it's better to have the unlimited ammo rather than trying to keep grabbing their ammo stashes each time. Now the biggest pain point in this is going to be some of the special ridden. Uh, they can be a bit of a pain. Um, like the hawkers seem to be the primary issue. Uh, but you want to push forward into the corridor. And this is where we're going to set up camp for a little bit. We are just going to wait at the end of this corridor and as you can see you get a consistent flood of zombies just coming down at you. But it also buys you enough time to deal with any special ridden that are coming in your direction. I think on harder difficulties you'll get more to spawn but we, for this demonstration we were just on the recruit difficulty. Uh, pretty much but you just sit here and you kill away. We were doing uh, this entire level for roughly 40 minutes and walked away with 1000. 100 kills on my end uh, and roughly the same for Aki as well. So set up camp here, fire down that corridor and keep getting those kills. Okay and yeah as like any other kind of left for dead major killing kind of exercise this is going to take you a long time so just sit tight keep firing down the corridor uh, and eventually you'll get there. Just to evidence how many kills we got, we uh, killed ourselves off at the end just to get the numbers showing through. Uh, but 1,171 is the total that I got. Big shout out to Agrophobic Aki for helping me do this. I've been Jastic Ed for the Achievement Squad. Drop us a like, comment, subscribe if this video has helped you out. And happy hunting.